Stone Cold Steve Austin walked away from WWE. Okay. Shockwaves vibrate. All right, and now we're back. Company. We're still at WrestleMania 19. What's next yep. on the on the card, Nick? This is Stone Cold Steve Austin versus The Rock 2. Oh. And uh, covering the first walkout of uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Really? Now why did he walk out? Um, you know, I, 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 can't, I couldn't tell you honestly. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's because of creative disputes. Okay. That seems kind of like the guy he is. And I know that uh, Vince McMahon didn't take the walkout well. No, 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 Mc, uh, Stone Cold, he was, like, at his apex, he was just colossal, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I've heard, like, a lot of people say, like, he would have been one of the biggest draws, like, one of the all-time career biggest draws ever if he hadn't had his injury. Yeah. Those, those, I think it's knee, and I think that's why he wears those braces. Those injuries and his neck really set him back. And his neck, yeah, yeah. Now, okay, at this point in the, uh, this is 2003, who's, who's the face here? Um, I couldn't tell you who's, who the face is for this match. I know at the at the time they're both fan favorites. I think I think Steve Austin might actually be the face. Although he turned heel at his, he made a heel turn at, at like a previous his previous bout with The Rock, right? Because that's what he sided with McMahon or something. Yeah, Steve Austin. Okay. Did. All right. Okay. Oh, f okay. Oh, fun fact. Theme, you know what the theme song of uh, WrestleMania 19 was? What? Crack Addict by Limp Bizkit. <laughs> wow. Which they performed you know, live. They... Huh. WWE has a thing for Limp Bizkit, though. Yeah, they've, yeah, they've been a, a couple of times. They've been the theme yeah. song. So, March 30th. Uh, 2003, Seattle, Washington, WrestleMania 19. The Rock criticized the choice of Stone Cold Steve Austin as superstar of the decade by the WWE fans. In the following week on Raw, Austin made his WWE return, and The Rock challenged him to a match at WrestleMania 19. Uh, he had failed to defeat The Rock had failed to defeat Stone Cold Steve Austin on two previous occasions, WrestleMania 15 and 17. Oh God! So this is Stone Cold versus The Rock three. Well, this is only the second match in the game of matchup shown in the game, I believe. Yeah. Mm, okay. Uh, the Rock was tormented by that fact, and an all in and his all encompassing quest to become uh, all encompassing quest became to finally defeat the Texas Rattlesnake on the grandest stage of them all. Uh, March 10th edition of Raw, The Rock looked for an easy victory, picking picked the Hurricane as his opponent for later that night, and during the match, Stone Cold distracted The Rock, allowing the Hurricane to claim a victory. With the, all, with the animosity reaching unforeseen heights, these two all-time greats sought to settle their differences once and for all in front of the world at WrestleMania 19. Now, is this just a standard pinfall or submission type match, or are there any special situations? Yeah, it looks like it. Scheduled for one fall. Um, yeah, the thing with these matches between like two fan favorites is that really either one of them could be the face or the heel. Yeah, that's true. And like, it's funny because sometimes uh, with really big stars, the sort of heel face division kind of doesn't really apply as much. Yeah. Well, I mean, like we said before, uh, Hogan versus Ultimate Warrior was actually the first. That was like, yeah, face face WrestleMania main event. Yeah, and now you know it's more becoming more of a common thing. For fans to be divided on who they want to cheer for. Yeah, I remember when I was a kid, it was pretty much always pretty unambiguous. At least, it... although I, yeah. I, then again, I don't know. For all I know, like the uh, the the the, uh, the audio on the TV shows might have been sweetened. Who knows? It, I, I wouldn't doubt it. I know that it's definitely that way now. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think we get to play it, but there is a match. I believe it. Maybe twenty three WrestleMania twenty three mm -hmm. or twenty four, um, where John Cena faces Triple H, with John Cena set like and um, the f the matches leading up to it, John Cena was booked as the face, right. versus you know heelish Triple H, which is you know pretty normal, right. 
but everybody was just booing the shit out of John Cena really? to the point where they changed the booking so that John Cena was more of the heel, even oh, though they okay. would not acknowledge him being the heel. Okay. And Triple H is the face. Which, if you, if you, you know, any any smart would tell you, changes who wins at WrestleMania. Now, interestingly, now this is not a title match, right? I don't believe so. I think it's just a rivalry match. Yeah, in fact, actually, we're no, we apparently we're not going to be playing the uh, the WrestleMania 19 main event. No. But, which was, no. Uh, who's uh, the Brock, Who's the main event? Lesnar, Brock Lesnar versus uh, Kurt Angle. Interesting. With a special stipulation that the title could change hands even on a disqualification or count out. Huh. Now, Angle was, uh, was he a heel at the time? I'm or was sure. this after they, no, this is after they started pushing him as a face. I'm not entirely certain. Um, I know, it, it was the September 2001 ah. Raw, oh. um, The Rock. The match has begun. So okay, now. Yes. Matt, what is your first historical objective here? Uh, just to complete the WrestleMania moment. So I'm just going to... Now, is the WrestleMania moment, that's sort of like a quick time sort of thing? Yeah. Okay. That's how they tend to look. So you can't really plan those out in advance. You have to just wait for them. Not really. And I'm trying to remember if this one... Oh, God. If this one is... Uh, knock the ref out like so many others. That does seem to be a, a recurring theme. Yeah, I mean, it allows the uh, guys to start using uh, foreign objects, not specifically not weapons. Which which the refs are usually so effective and conscientious about preventing, so you have to, you have to make sure he's out of the picture, otherwise his eagle eye will invariably... Yes. <laughs> do, do they make a point? Um, what, do they, like, consciously avoid saying weapons? Yes. They never say weapons. Foreign object, okay. Uh, the the announcers who we've turned off uh, will say foreign objects, and it sounds so weird because they're like, he's hitting him with that foreign object. They don't have specific. Like they've never. They, like they don't have specific voice clips for he's hitting him with the, with the chair or whatever. Or, or well, no, because there's so many. Yeah. There's so many. Sure. No, I understand. Uh, they've got the uh, belts that you can use, like the titles. If it's a title match, you can. Rip them off the uh, podium. Do they have uh, it like you the way? Also it, use... do, do they do, do the belts of this game work the way they seem to in in actual wrestling, where like being hit with them is like always like a devastating blow somehow? I know that it's the same as the bell, and the bell is pretty devastating. I I actually think they might use the same general uh, model okay. and just change the texturing because they really don't hold them all that different. You know, someone, yeah. someone should someone someone should have like a heel like you know evil foreigner gimmick. And their name, their name should actually be the foreign object. <laughs> I would love that. Oh my god. Oh shit. So I'm gonna totally date myself uh, in this episode as well. But um, last night on Raw, they they had the uh, Russian, uh, the current Russian. That guy um, who's like the big Vladimir Putin enthusiast. Yeah. Rusev. Rusev. They had him. Um, oh shit. Uh -oh. Giving him the stunner. That's the WrestleMania moment, so that one's pretty good. I gotta hit him with the people's elbow now, except I don't have the people's elbow. Uh, I need to build my meter. Um, they had Rusev come out and receive the Russian, uh, I think it was like Medal, Medal of Courage or something. Okay. For defeating Big E Langston at Payback. Who did he receive this medal from? What's that? Who did he receive this medal from? From, like, some official from the Russian embassy. It was really weird. Like, the whole time, everybody was just booing and screaming USA, which is clearly what they were going for. But, like, it just kept happening. It just kept going. <laughs> and the, the Russian official was just like, uh, yes, we'd like to give this medal to Rusev. Who's from Bulgaria, but now lives in Moscow. Of course I am Russian and not American doing ax fake accents. <laughs> Why you say this? It was so weird. Uh, but such a, such a dumb thing. 
and it was great for that reason. Oof. Um. God damn. No. I am American as base as baseball and apple strudel. <laughs> Oh shit, I need to give him the spine muster. Hang on. Come on. Come on, get up. There we go. Here's the people's elbow. Um. Did Uncle yeah, Warrior the... do a thing where before he frog splashed a guy, he would dash back and forth? What's that? Did Ultimate Warrior, before he frog splashed a guy, would he dash back and forth? I think he might have. Uh, actually, he might have just hit the ropes once okay. and come and frog splash him. Ah. Okay. Uh, this media moment still hasn't occurred. The second one, yeah. Oh shit, he's wake up taunting me. No, oh! the stunner. Oh. Virtual Rock sold the hell out of that stunner. I gotta say. Yeah. <laughs> uh. I've seen um. Some, I can't remember online somewhere, but I read, like, um, oh, you know what it was? I was watching a video, like a tutorial call, on YouTube called How to Do the Stone Cold Stunner. Okay. And then the technical name for it. I wonder I wonder and, how uh, many children have been, like, maimed for life after watching that YouTube video and saying, hey, I know what we could try doing. <laughs> yeah, I've seen too many, like, other videos of, of kids. See, the video that they showed were these two guys who were, like, Ring of Honor or, or um, actual professional wrestlers mm -hmm. um, in a wrestling on a wrestling uh, mat, okay. and then the like. Then I've also seen these videos of these kids just like. Um, oh, oh, the elbow pads coming on, off. Yep. The, these kids he's, uh, he's, coming he's around off and the doing. Limiters. Oof. Oh. Lots of flair on it. I love it. Um, doing those same moves on, like, trampolines. Which is not the same at all. <laughs> oh, God. But then I saw... I did see in the comments some guy saying not to actually try and perform the Stone Cold Stunner in a real fight because he broke his tailbone <laughs> and he was fighting some dude in the street. Well, yeah, you're falling on <laughs> your ass. And everybody else was like, yeah, idiot. Well, well, take as a general rule, any combat moves that requires you to fall to the ground, risky when you're doing it on concrete. <laughs> Just risky a general rule. Alright, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just beating the hell out of Stone Cold Steve Austin at this point. Very slow. That's cool that there's like location damage in this. Yeah. Can you damage like legs or arms separately? Yep. And you can do that. Um. Pretty. Here, let me just knock him to the ground. Oh, son of a bitch. See, like him Wait. right there. It was leg specific damage. Can you attack individually, like the left leg or the right leg, or is it just one? Oh, no, it tends to attack both of them. Okay. Same with arms, or...? Oh, fuck! Did he just pin you? Yeah. He did a follow-up. God damn it. Snake! S Snake! I look so good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> combined, and combined uh, with the rich knowledge of wrestling we both display, it's... I know! <laughs> Did he do this? I don't know. Oh. Alrighty. Like, I don't know, if this Let's Play was being done by, like, two, like, ten-year-olds who thought wrestling was real, they'd be, they'd be showing only slightly less insight than I do, probably. <laughs> Well, oh, shit. Oh! 
I don't know, these 10 year olds you speak of might be better at this game too. I do enjoy the selling mechanics in this game. Everybody's good at selling in this game. There isn't a uh, bad looking match. Well, everybody except Hogan and Warrior. Are they in this? Hogan and Warrior? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. oh I, I'm an idiot. What am I talking about? Yeah. Okay. There we go. Hogan and Warrior, they don't sell well? Uh, no. They never do. Hogan wasn't generally I think it's great indicative at it in of their real life, life though. Yeah. Oof, god damn it. Oop, missed. They should have some sort of quick time event mini game where you have to like improvise a ultimate warrior soliloquy on the fly. <laughs> like he's ranting on and on, and then at certain points, like like you know, like the buttons will appear and he'll say, like, you know, press circle for gods above to reference the gods above, square for distrucity. Triangle <laughs> triangle for bizarre bizarre murder rant, you know. <laughs> X for snort, uh -huh. X to snort, you know, and you got to and you got to string these different f attributes together in a, in the way that makes a successful promo. It would be incredible. I think it would also have to show you that it's truly only Ultimate Warrior that can do that. String together such strange, strange. Uh... Say, say what you want. He, he could rant like just about nobody else. Oh yeah. About what? I don't know, but he he sure as hell sounded like he meant it. <laughs> oh, fuck. Ow. I do like the bulldog. That is a uh, that is a move that is incredibly demanding. Oof. And so I don't know, yeah, I don't know if you can see the bar too well, John, but like the more damage you get, the quicker it fills up, mm -hmm. but it also makes it really hard to very precisely kick out. Okay. I mean, I'm also bad at this game, but <laughs> All right. ah. he's closer to the he's... Did, did did you have any brothers or sisters who would try and put you into a lock like that? Uh, no. I only have one sibling, she's six years younger than me, so... <laughs> oh, so she wouldn't have been doing that. Yeah, I had an older cousin, he would put me in, um... Who was it? Who was it that had that, that challenge? Was it like, uh... Like Chris Masters? Yeah, Chris Masters. He oh, would he, try, yeah, he like, would like challenge some, like lock. an audience plant to escape his master lock or something? Yeah, and he'd be like... He'd be like, "Do it, and I'll give you a hundred bucks." And then I, I, like, he was like twenty years old, and uh, I was, you know, like eight. And so he'd put me in Wait, the master lock, and I'd be screaming. 20, is, isn't twenty years old a little bit old to be putting your, your young relatives in submission holds? You think? But uh, that is not, not, the uh, worst. Ah, oh, fuck! Stunner out of nowhere. Such a good move. So if, oh, if so if you were ever subjected to the real master lock challenge, you would probably not succeed then. No. I sincerely doubt I would succeed. Oh, interesting story about uh Chris Masters, aka um Christopher Mordedsky. Uh this is a this is a real life thing, this is not a, a wrestling thing. Apparently his mother's house was set on fire by an arsonist. Yeah. And he yeah. and it was like and he um and he was a he got to he was able to get to his mother's presumably second story window to rescue her by tearing down a ten foot tree with his bare hands and using it to climb to the like the second story window. Yeah. So he is. This. Yeah, you would not want to be in that guy's grip because he could probably no. he would like probably just literally like tear your arms from your so their sockets. Yeah, that man is. Alright, I gave him the rock bottom because I f have no idea how to activate this second WrestleMania moment. You've got the guide, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> do you want me to... Yeah, give me a hint. 
because I don't know what to do, and I'm afraid if he hits me with the stunner again, I'll lose. All and right. this will just be like 30 minutes of us talking about wrestling and me being bad at this game. Oh, fuck. Uh, after, okay, after you've performed the, uh, complete the WrestleMania, after you've performed the, um, after you've performed the People's Elbow, get him back on his feet to trigger the stunner counter into rock bottom WrestleMania moment. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, kind of, he, Okay, so like, it's like, he, he tried... He tries to put you in the Stone Cold Stunner, and then you somehow counter that into the rock bottom? Yeah. But that doesn't make sense. Are you sure that wasn't the f first one? Because that was definitely... Oh, well, maybe he needs to build it up again. We'll see. Because he's about to... Uh, I think he's about to hit me. With the... Uh, oh, fuck. As long as he doesn't try and pin me instead. I'm not sure. Yeah, this this guide is somewhat awkwardly written. I mean, look how damaged he is. Okay, try, try, try giving him the rock bottom. I think that you're supposed to do that at some point. Have you people's elbowed him already? Yeah, I've given him the people's elbow already. Oh no! Maybe he's gonna. Oof. Um, try rock. Try try the rock bottom if you, if you can. Oh my god, that Heck. was close. Oh. Thought you were. No, I didn't even get to counter that one. He just gave it to me. If I was much faster, I could have reversed it. Was there an option to? Yeah, it, oh, okay. it's like a split second prompt. Well, I guess that's what you gotta do. Then. You, you could just, I don't just, know. just straight up finish the match. We, could, we don't need to get every objective. Alright, fuck it. Two. Three. All yeah. Right. I think that's the one that I... Because this is one of those ones, I think, that I haven't unlocked it. And I was waiting around for that WrestleMania moment to happen. Well, the time stream will have to limp along sort of fulfilled as it was meant to. Well, it's not alternate. I didn't do anything wrong. That's true. <laughs> it's just unfulfilled, I suppose. And with that, we say goodbye to WrestleMania we, 19. Yes. All right, Nick, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop recording for a sec. I gotta hit.